Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here at Sioka Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Flemington in Flemington, New Jersey to check out truck number two in our heavy duty pickup series. Last week we saw the 24 F250 XLT Super Duty. Now we have the 2024 Ram 2500 Heavy Duty Bighorn 4x4 in granite crystal metallic paint. So we're going to check this out, see what Ram is bringing as far as the competition goes in this heavy-duty pickup segment. So let's dig in. Front end of this Ram 2500, again, granite crystal metallic is the paint. We have flat black on the top of the grill with that big Ram name on the front, looking good. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps. Standard bulbs for turn signals. We got those big flat black recovery hooks down below. Really beefy looking front end on this Ram 2500. As we move around to our wheel and tire setup on this Ram, and please excuse my shadow, we have an 18 inch polished aluminum alloy wheel, Ram badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now these 18 inch wheels are wrapped in Firestone Transforce all-terrain tires, 275 on the width, a 70 series sidewall, 18s, all four corners, four-wheel drive. Moving on out to our full-side profile of this humongous heavy-duty pickup truck. Looking good here. Standard pickup truck styling. I, I like it. I like it. It looks good. We got the, uh, we got the orange roof lights up top as well. As we come on in closer, here is our 2500 heavy duty call out right here. Then we have these huge side view mirrors with LED turn signals. We're color matched on the front and rear of the door handles. Ram down below with the huge Ram running boards on either side of the vehicle. We have a left side fuel filler cap, sport call out on the back, six and a half foot bed with the tonneau cover in place right now. Up top, color matched roof with the shark fin antenna, and then again, our orange roof lights. Rear end of our Ram, again, looking good. We have LED lighting all the way around on the back with that big Ram badge in the middle of the tailgate. Big horn on the left, four by four on the right. We have our tow hookup down below, and we'll go over those numbers when we take a look at this massive V8 engine. And then we have our exhaust pipe tucked up and coming out the right side behind the right rear tire of this Bighorn pickup. Looking good on the back though. All right, we're under the hood of this Ram 2500 heavy duty. What are we looking at for a power plant? Well, we got Ram 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine mated to an eight speed automatic transmission, 410 horsepower, 429 pound feet of torque. Now this Ram can tow up to 17,000 730 pounds in conventional towing. However, if you're going with the gooseneck setup for a fifth wheel, you can get up to 19,990 pounds of towing. MPGs, these heavy duty pickups are not rated by the EPA as they're considered a commercial vehicle. So there is no rating for there, but I would not expect very good numbers out of an, a vehicle like this as far as gas mileage goes. And then, of course, this 6.4 liter Hemi V8 is going to run on premium gas, 91 octane. All right, before we get into the interior of this Ram Bighorn, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much can I have to lay out for one of these? Well, last week that F250 XLT was right around 68, 69 grand, if I remember right. So let's see what Ram is getting for their competition truck. Here we go. Base price for the 24 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 is $58,730. Now, in typical Stellantis fashion, they've added a lot of options. So here we go. We got to add in an additional 295 for the granite crystal metallic clear coat paint. Another 295 for the premium cloth bucket seats an extra 145 for the protection group. It gets you the tow hooks and transfer case skid plate shield. Then we have to add in 795 for the premium lighting group. 
get you the front LED fog lamps, LED reflector headlamps. Then an extra $10.95 for the Sport Appearance Package gets you the pa painted front bumper, painted rear bumper, and black interior accents. Then another $545 for your fifth wheel gooseneck towing prep group. And then an extra $845 for the bed utility group. That's going to get you the LED bed lighting, a deployable bed step by Mopar, spray-in bed liner by Mopar. Then the big one, an extra $5,110 for level two equi equipment group. That gets you the sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors, the 18 by eight polished aluminum wheels, glove box lamp, Ram Connect with trial, you connect five with 12 inch display. And it gets you the uh, exterior 115 volt uh, AC outlet, second row floor storage bins, uh, power heated and telescoping mirrors, power folding mirrors, automatic power heated front seats, trailer tow package, rear power sliding window, AC with dual zone climate, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, forward and reverse utility lights, heated steering wheel, steering wheel mounted audio controls, Google Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, wireless, 4G Wi-Fi hotspot with trial, Sirius XM with a three-month trial, Park Sense front and rear park assist system, blind spot with tag trailer and cross path detection, remote start system, and a 400 watt inverter. Whew. Now, more options, an extra 145 for the 220 amp alternator, an extra 150 for the front and rear rubber floor mats, an extra 695 for the tri-fold tonneau cover, an extra 145 for the 410 axle ratio, an extra 145 for the anti-spin differential rear axle, an extra 145 for the instrument panel, a mounted auxiliary switches, an extra 95 for the clearance lamps, an extra 345 for the center stop lamp with cargo view camera, an extra 195 for the rear wheelhouse liners, an extra 95 for the engine block heater, an extra 595 for the nine speaker Alpine audio system with subwoofer, an extra 295 for the off-road all-terrain tires, an extra 445 for the trailer tire pressure monitoring system. Whoa! Now, destination and delivery from Rams Mexico assembly plant. And you're looking at of 1,195, if I didn't say that already. And now you're looking at a total vehicle price, MSRP from the factory of $74,435. Let's check out the interior. All right, here's a close-up of these gorgeous running boards with the chrome accents. Sorry for the mud, but it's been raining for two days, and this place is mostly dirt on the back lot of the dealership, and everything is muddy. So there you have it. Not much I can do about that. Now, footbox-wise, we got a large uh, footbox area, rubberized finish on your brake and accelerator. You have your push-on, push-off emergency brake. Seating-wise, you have power seat for the driver with lumbar adjustment, manual seat for the front passenger, black cloth with the stitching with a gray insert, nice and soft though on the headrest and on the bolstering. Looks pretty good here for this heavy duty interior. Now we're looking at our door panel. We have soft touch up top, some simulated wood trim, brushed aluminum on the door handle and the trim around it. Soft touch on the armrest, nice and soft with the stitching, grab handle in flat black. We do have dual Door pockets, one on top and one down below. Again, your nine, nine speaker Alpine upgraded audio system. Now we have our soft touch up here. We have this right here with big horn on it, looking good. And of course, a place for your secret papers is right there. You just have to push that button and that top opens, which is a nice touch for extra storage. And then down below, a nice large glove box. All right, the center stack up top, you got a place here for some storage, the Ram name right there. And then way up here, you got a 12 volt for power. So they got action going on up there. Now, as far as your infotainment, I mentioned we got the 12 inch vertically mounted Uconnect 5, which gives you wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, great response on your pinch to zoom, 
We have dual climate with heated seats, three stages for the driver and the front passenger, and a heated steering wheel, and you can sync that your temperatures together. Now, what I, wait, what I do want to show you as we come to our vehicle settings, you have your dashboard with your off-road pages, and so you can go into those, and you can get your vehicle dynamics, you can get your accessory gauges, you get your pitch and roll data, so they got you covered there, which is a very, very nice deal. And then you got your towing and trailer pages where you can get all your information on your trailering and your trailer, your trailer brake, all that stuff. Do a light check. You can set things up by using a trailer that's already in the system or adding a trailer and all that good stuff. So they got you set up there. You have your controls where you can dim your mirror. You can look at your rear view bed camera or your cargo camera. So they do have a camera that's on the roof that's pointed at the cargo area. And we can just turn that on. Right now the tonneau cover's on, but you can see it's going right in there. So that's a nice, and then you can do your settings where you can set up your driver profile, your clock, Bluetooth, your phone, navigation, all that jazz is in here. So it's a really, really easy system to use here in this Bighorn, and it's nice. Now, I'm not a big fan of the vertical mount, but I do like the fact that they have it fully integrated with heat and air vents on either side. Now, if we go to reverse, there's our backup camera right there with trajectory and your tow center line. So they got you covered there. And again, you can switch to your bed camera, switch back out of it. But for a truck this size, I would have liked to seen uh, a 360 degree view camera in here. Now, down underneath here, well, before we get there, you got your volume and tuning knobs right there. You can turn the screen off if you want right here. And then down below, right here's your trailer brake right here. And then you got your tow haul mode. You got your traction control off. You have your parking, sen uh, parking sensors off front, parking sensors off rear right here. So they got you covered there. Here's your auxiliary switches. If you want to stick on a, uh, let's say, a winch or some extra lighting, you got that covered. Down below here, you got two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and an aux jack, and an area in here for storage, which I'll show you in a second. We got two cup holders. We have our RAM key fob right here. Unlock, lock, remote start, panic button, and it says RAM here on the back. Really nice looking key fob, nice and light. And then in here, we have more storage with some change for tolls. And of course, in New Jersey, you always need money for tolls. And now we can slide this whole thing back like that. And now you have even a deeper area for more storage. And underneath here, there you go. You got a home power source. So they got you covered there. Move that forward. Huge center armrest, as you can see, with the soft touch and the stitching. And you can open it up two ways. So the top part you can open up. And you have a USB-C and more area to slide stuff in all rubber finish on these surfaces for storage so things won't rattle around and then you can open up the whole thing and get your big deep area for storage down below and you also have obviously on the back of these rams let me switch around so i can show you you got your work charts and a ruler and a uh, and all sorts of stuff that's going to take you and give you some dimensions you may need if you're doing some work on inside the cab of this truck and they, they've had this on here for years it's a cool little touch here in the ram the ram steering wheel nice leather wrap wheel nice 10 and 2 notches with some stitching the ram badge on the horn button brushed aluminum to lift it up we have a round bottom wheel but this driver cockpit is huge in this 2500 heavy duty so i have no problem getting in and out of the vehicle now over here on the left you got your telephone voice commands and controls for the digital portion of your dash. And then on the right here, you got your cruise control. And down below here, you got your gear limit up or down. So there is where you have that. Push button start right over here. Here is your dial to go through your two wheel drive, four high, four low. And then obviously with your foot on the brake, this is gonna take you through the eight speed automatic as well. And then you can push the buttons to go from two-wheel drive, let's say, to four-wheel high or four-wheel low. 
If you do that, then you have to put the transmission in neutral or you back to too high. So they got you covered there. So now on the left side, this is where you got your headlights, right? So you got your headlight controls right here, fog lamp controls on and off, and then you can brighten and dim the dash right here. And as far as the wheel goes, we have a, I think it's a two-handed process. Yes, it's a manual tilting and telescoping wheel. So they got you all set there. And then, I don't know if you can hear that noise, but we're moving the pedals in and out down below. So you can adjust your brake and accelerator uh, if they're too far away from your feet, you can bring them closer, which is a nice touch. And now we got our dash, right? So we have analog gauges for our, for our speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and coolant temperature. And then we have a smaller display in the center where you can go through additional information that you may like to see, depending on what you're doing with this vehicle. So it's really nice and easy, and it's well laid out. And of course, I love that RAM badge on top. On the driver door panel, we do have the button to telescope these huge side view mirrors, or excuse me, power fold them, not telescope them. One touch in, one touch. Out. Overhead console, huge overhead console. If you want your lights to go on and off when you open and close the door, you just leave this button off. That's all you got to do. When you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, the lighting goes out. What am I guess it would have been nice to have LED in here, considering we have a $75,000 truck. I don't think I have a door closed. There we go. Now it should dim out. Now we have our SOS button in case there's an emergency out on the road. And this is to open up that rear window slider. So there's the window back there. You just push and hold in. Open it opens up automatically. You push to hold in and it closes nice and easy. Our oops. <laughs> sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. And on the back here, looks like we got programmables for a garage. If you can fit one in, fit this thing in your garage. All right, getting in the crew cab area of this Ram 2500. We use our running board to step on and up. I have the seat set for my drive position. And I got huge amounts of room back here at five foot eleven for my knees, shoulders, and head. We got cloth all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. In the back, what we have is two cup holders right here, two heat and air vents, two USB Cs, two USB A's right in here. A little area for storage there. So they got you covered back here for some action. Now rear door panel looking the same as the front. These are some accessories that come with the vehicle down on the seat right now. But here's our front door panel looking good. Here's the back door panel looking exactly the same. Rear seats, same cloth material with the stitching. Look good. Center armrest. Bring it down. Semi-soft. Two cup holders. Would have liked to see the cup holders up here. So I have more room to put my elbow down. Let me know what you think. But overall, it's a really spacious crew cab in this 2500. We also have extra storage space under both of these rear seats in the crew cab area. All you have to do is lift it up, and there it is right there. Carpeted, too. Very, very nice. And then you just have to put it down when you're done putting stuff in there. So they got you set. All right, getting in the tailgate area of the Bighorn 4x4, you come to the back, and here's our handle. Push the button, and it falls right down nice and easy for you. We're looking at a six-and-a-half-foot bed, just about spraying bed liner like I mentioned earlier up to 4,000 pounds of payload capacity in this Ram Bighorn. And then here's that three-piece tonneau cover or three trifold tonneau cover that you can take off. Here are the step-ups to get into the bed right down there. We also have power back here. As you can see right here, you got this action right here. And then you got your 115-volt plug-in in the cargo area back there with the LED bed lighting, but a really nice large bed. And of course, 4,000 pounds is pretty darn competitive in max payload in this Ram. Here's our window sticker. We'll zoom on in, give it the action on this 2,500 Bighorn. Give you the standard. And now the list of options goes on and on and on.
Again, not rated for the fuel economy. Crash test ratings. Let's just take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out here on the road in this 24 Ram 2500 heavy duty bighorn 4x4 action. And right off the bat, I got great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, no problem at all. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz is in this Ram heavy duty. So I like that as well. Can't have too much in the way in safety in these things. These things are so big, uh, considering to do a lot of work. But like the F250 XLT, this one is spec'd out for somebody who wants to own this privately uh, instead of buying it, let's say, let's have a company buying it for commercial use. And it's set up for your, you know, you got your prep work done for the gooseneck for your fifth wheel. But just like the F-250, it's big, it's brash, it looks good on the road. I do like the Ram front end better than the Ford front end, I think, overall, as far as the way it looks. But they both ride very similar. They're both hop high off the ground. They can tow a lot. They have a huge payload capacity in the back bed. They both have the same six and a half foot bed. Uh, and they both have V8 engines. I mean, they're very, very similar, both of these trucks. But this one drives really well. The handling is just fine. It's a little heavier, just like on the F-250, but that's okay because I wanna know what my, my tires are doing, uh, whether I'm on-road or off-road, or whether I'm under load towing something. I wanna know what's going on with the wheels. So I do like that. Once you get up to higher speeds, though, the, the steering does lighten up a bit. Uh, but overall, it is a really big, humongous, solid, heavy-duty pickup truck. No doubt about that. Feels good. The Hemi V8 feels good. We got the big 6.4 liter with the 8-speed the automatic tranny going on here. Now, the Ford's going to give you a 10-speed torque shift. But they're both, they're both heavy-duty transmissions. They're both going to be able to handle the torque and the load that you put on them when you're towing. We're going to come up here, we'll test out the brakes. Three, two, one. Look at that. Stops the vehicle nice and straight, easy. And now we'll get going feather in the gas since we have a new car, new truck. And down the road you go. No problem. Gets up to speed very easily. The 8-speed shifting very smoothly. No problems at all here in this big Ram. Tech-wise in here, you got a lot of nice stuff, right? You got that 12-inch Uconnect 5. Great system. I would like to see the 360 degree view cameras in here like the F-250 had. Uh, I like to see all the way around myself if I'm going off road or doing something like that. So I think that would have been a good, a good thing here for this Ram is to have that. But overall, you got all your trailering apps, you got heated seats, you got uh, heated steering wheel, USB-A, USB-C connectivity. Just like the F-250, there's no wireless charging pad in here. So both of them could probably use that, especially if you're going to be out towing a long way or, you know, doing other things with this. And you're going to be in the vehicle a lot. And a lot of people that own these are in the vehicle a lot. Would be nice to have that uh, wireless charging pad. But those are small items overall. Seats are pretty comfortable for regular cloth seats. So I can't complain about that. And just like the F-250, we're going to have a big turning radius on this Ram of about 21 feet. So we're going to check it out. Nobody's coming. And here you go. We're going to need to back up. Not surprising. Cade turns a lot in these things, but the backup camera is 
really nice and clear, which I really like. And then we're gonna come down the road, hang a left, and up the road we go. And it feels good, feels really good. So, let me know what you think. So far, I'm gonna put the F-250 review at the end of this one, if you wanna check that one out, but let me know what you think about this Ram 2500 heavy duty. Is this the kind of heavy duty pickup you wanna be rolling down the road in, that you wanna own, or are you gonna to go to, let's say, that Ford F-250 XLT that we saw last week, or to another brand? We still got two more vehicles coming up on this heavy duty pickup series, the Silverado 2500 heavy duty and the GMC Sierra 2500 heavy duty. But let me know what you guys think about this one as it compares to the F-250, because officially those are the only two we've seen on the channel so far. But let me know where you're gonna go with your hard earned heavy duty pickup truck money. But I wanna thank Sioka, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram here in Flemington, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Ram 2500 Bighorn 4x4 for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.